Right guys, this is my first video, so please bear with me. Um, this is my unboxing, basically like a fake unboxing because I'm really impatient and opened it already. So um, yeah, this is basically what's in it. Um, so I bought the 3D pen Meturk, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, and basically I did a bit of research on YouTube and online and this was a pretty good pen and the cheapest I could find. I think it was something like 25.99 at Euro uh, on Amazon and I could literally arrive the next day. So basically what's included in it, just FYI, the instructions are super shit, man. Um, so basically what's included in it, you get like, uh, I think it's 15 different colors. Um, so it's, you can see it here. It's like the PLA, which is the type of plastic um, that comes with it. Um, you get a charger with a USB port, um, a little stand for uh, your pen, the instructions you can see here, really crap instructions. Um, and uh, yeah, the pen. Um, so I just thought I'd make a video because like, I mean, I'm not an idiot, but I was reading these instructions and it's just like impossible. And I'm bilingual. So I read them in both English and Spanish and I just failed at understanding. So this is the pen here. Um, as you can see on one side, there's two buttons. That's a little screen where you can see the temperature. And this button here, once it focuses uh, with an L on it, is like your OK or select button. So basically you stick the piece of plastic in through the little um, space just there on the right hand side, through the little hole, stick it in and then, um, oh, by the way, it has to be plugged in. I didn't know this. I thought that maybe it would be like, you know, uh, like, a, portable one but no it's not you have to have it plugged in so you stick the piece of plastic in and then you press the button on the left hand side of the pen at the bottom so that basically just like picks up the plastic and feeds it through um, and um, that's you press it once and it kind of the machine goes like Ooh and it's like feeding it in and um, then once you see the little plastic liquid coming out of the nozzle you know it's ready so you press that button and it'll continuously come out or you press it again and it stops and basically that's the only button you really use and um, the other button on the right um, uh, so the one with the like arrow pointing right um, is to take the feed out the plastic feed out so once you're finished drawing with it um, you press that button and it like literally pushes the excess plastic out um, and then to change the temperature basically by changing the temperature you're changing how fast the PLA or ABS depending on what plastic you bought pours out of the machine the slower you want it the lower the temperature and um, the cool thing I suppose with this one is that you can actually modify the temperature and um, when you press the L button you get three options I mean like the instructions say like high medium and low but that's not what the machine says the machine says five three five two and five one so I kind of just like use my brain I suppose that five three was like the faster hotter version five two is the medium version and five one is the lower version um, and on the instructions it says that that's like 75 degrees 85 degrees and 95 degrees but when you're using the pen on the little display panel on the pen it says that it's 175 degrees for the slow 185 for the medium and 200 degrees for the fast so that's what i'm saying the instructions make absolutely like zero sense to like the actual thing so as you can see there like the plastic i've like fed the plastic in it um i recommend using it on the low setting at the beginning at least till you get the grasp of it so you just press the l button and it'll appear five three five two five one so you just click the l button until five one appears and then you'll see that slowly on the screen the temperature will lower and then you just use the button with the arrow on the left you can either press it for it to like can you know yeah you just press it and it continuously flows out and you press it again and you uh it stops um and then like it does come out quite fast and it's squidgy and like it's playing around with it really like um sometimes it's easier to have the nozzle really close to the piece of paper like actually touching a piece of paper or touching the surface that you're working on um because that way you know you've got more of a more of a grasp on it and it's like you know easier to use and um but the problem with that is that then like you know it doesn't come out like it's not like a smooth line it's like a squished line because you're drawing on flat um and uh when you've got the high temperature on i mean fuck it's like honey like it's really hard to use um so yeah 
that's basically it. And you can see it's plugged in um, to use it. And then basically to turn it off, you just, um, it actually has a sleep mode, which is great. So you just like leave it be and it'll automatically um, turn off. Um, and uh, you, what else, what else, what else? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah. So after, like if you want to just turn it off, you just plug it off. Uh, let's plug it out and then it's fine. Um, and uh, you uh yeah you, you take the excess plastic out so you press the little button with the right arrow and that you'll see it the, i mean it's pretty simple you'll see it in the machine it's just like and it pours out so this is me doing a draw oh well, look this is the end product well god i talk a lot um so basically i traveled around asia and i took loads of photographs of my uh, Travels, and then I basically want to illustrate them. So I used the 3D pen to um, illustrate this little girl. So I printed a piece of paper with the photograph that I took, and then I just drew over it. So you can see here like the different kinds of techniques. Like you are able to create a thick line and a thinner line. Obviously, the thinner the line is, the shittier it is, and you can do like little squiggly lines and stuff. But yeah, this is the end result. Um, it's pretty sturdy. Um, you know, I was surprised by that. But as I said, this is my first video, man and it's the first time using this pen so you know be nice anyways thanks for watching let me know if you would like any more information or if i rambled too much oh yeah and one more thing i'm a disaster totally forgot about the lights so on the machine again no information in the instructions um there is a red led light and a green led light so the red led light is lit when the temperature isn't high enough and the green led light is when the temperature is correct for that setting so once it hits 175 for the low setting the light will go green once it hits 185 if you've hired it on the medium setting it'll go green and so on so forth anyways again this is the end product um so yeah thanks for watching guys